this is Rebecca with RebeccasRoadMap.com and it is time for our three things art journal challenge for this week and just in case you missed some of the other ones let's see this was last week's this is Rupert the dog <laughs> let's see where's my first one This is the first one and that's the second one and I'm just you know journal journaling in here too so um, you know just writing so do a little bit of everything okay so that's my journal and let me just get to a clean page without anything on it and I'm going to just slip some parchment paper behind here to help keep the paint from going on the rest of my journal. Yeah, I need to cut that straight. This is a little more straight. Okay, so I'm going to cut those anyway. So, moving on. <laughs> Our challenge today is the color blue. Animal. It's going to be a bull because I found this wonderful bull in a magazine. <laughs> and the shape is going to be a flower. So I've got this flower stencil. Thought it might be fun to stencil some white over the blue. I've got some punches. These are from a flower punch. So I might put those around. I also have some die cuts from an Illustrated Faith pack. So I don't know if I'm going to use those. And then I have this um, peony that I thought was really pretty that kind of, for some reason, I liked with the bowl. I'm kind of feeling Ferdinandish the bowl um, with this. And then for my border, I'm going to um, cut some just strips out of this green. And then out of this food, because I think it's got some interesting shapes, textures, and colors. So I think that might be kind of fun. So. This is where I'm starting. We'll see where I end up, as always. I'm gonna get this set up. I'm going to paint my background blue. I'm gonna fix my parchment paper. I'm going to cut the strips out and cut these, um, the flower and the bowl out. And then um, show you where I go from there. So I'll be back in a minute. Okay. I scraped some of the blue paint on just with my painted any paint scraper and this was just the inexpensive craft smart paint that you can get on amazon or at michael's you might can get it at hobby lobby too i'm not sure okay i cut out my flower in my bowl not sure um if we're going to use the flower or not we're definitely using the bowl because that's our main animal and I decided not to cut out the veggie ad that was green. I found um, one in my stash that was a picture of um, one of those blackberries. So I cut that into strips and then I cut the dinner picture into strips. So the first thing we're gonna do is make a border out of these and just glue stuff around. So we can cut these up willy nilly. And glue them around and mix them together. I need my glue stick. So that is what we're doing now. I need the other glue stick because this one needs to go in the trash. It is empty.
very soothing to sit here with a glue stick <laughs> and glue stuff. I don't know if it's because I feel like I'm back in kindergarten or um, what, but it, it's very soothing. And I really like playing with these magazines for some reason. And making something new out of them. I think it's great fun. I'm just going to kind of clip a little piece to go right there. So there's no rhyme or reason to this. You just need to pick um, a background. Or I should say pick a picture that has interesting texture and colors and then start you know cut it into strips some fat some skinny and just start kind of gluing stuff together make a frame for your picture I guess it's some visual interest and in texture and this is um, based on Tisha Moore's art journaling. I don't know if you've seen her stuff, but if you want to know more and better than what I'm showing you, you can look at some of her videos. So I'm just kind of cutting some of these things up into some smaller pieces so we can kind of mix some of the food with some of the berries and just glue it wherever it thinks it needs to go. Don't think about it, just glue it down. These things don't have to be square, they don't have to be straight, they just have to be glued down on the piece of paper. <laughs> this is easy art journaling at its finest. I really like these forks. I'll kind of put them in a prominent place. I like those forks. I don't like that four-leaf clover. I don't know why I'm kind of getting into the four-leaf clover thing. I never have been before. Ooh, here's some pickles and stuff. That looks kind of interesting. Let me cut that. So I don't know where the whole pickle thing is coming from and notice that this is like in the wrong direction and so it doesn't matter just whatever hits your fancy glue it down you can make this as wide or as thick or as complicated as you want it to be I think it's kind of interesting when things kind of go in and out. One more little piece down here. I 
just like this little piece for some reason, so I'm going to stick in there. I'm not liking that there for some reason. Let's just move it. Maybe we need to just take it off. I always stick it over here. Okay. So that's our border. That's step two. We put the background down, put a border around, and then I'm just going to save all these pieces. I've got this Ziploc bag that, that's the veggie ad um, that I just throw all these extras in. So next time I'm doing a project, I have some strips already cut. Okay, let's see. The, the bull is going to be the biggest piece, so let's look at him. He's going to have to go on this side. Ooh, and his horns are going to kind of go across the page like that. So I think I'm going to cut his little front legs off here. Just have his head. Kind of like that. I'm liking that. I think that looks kind of cool. You never know what you're going to get when you do these things. <laughs> That's part of the fun, right? bowl here and let me make sure I've got glue on the tip of his horn in the crevice there I guess I could cut that but I don't really want to do that just make sure it kind of will work there I like him he's pretty Sure, all his little edges are glued down. Now I could have done the background of the stencil, the flower, um, before I glued him down. But I was kind of thinking that I might want to do some flower stencil on him. <laughs> we'll we'll see how that goes. Okay, the other thing I have is this really big flower. I can't remember. I think it goes like this. That's how it was living in the thing. So I could cut that piece off and just have that. I could cut, I think the whole thing's too big. I'm thinking maybe I want it over here in this corner. It's not like I want to cut the whole thing off and just have that piece. Or cut the glue and then cut the edge off. Let's, let's do this. Okay, so I cut this piece off. Kind of see kind of almost like it like on the corner of the paper so I'm gonna cut this other little petal thing off here oh that's not the piece I was trying to throw away that one's glued down Kind of feeling that. Okay, let's go back down. Before I forget how I have it laid out. <laughs> I'm really bad about directions. I like have no sense of one. Stuff gets turned around very easily for me. Okay, so let's glue this here. And how did I have that like that? Little baby flower. I kind of like that. That's kind of cool. All right. Okay, so, ooh, I really like that. I'm going to kind of stencil around with this 
flower stencil and this white paint and see what that looks like. And I'm just going to use one of my handy dandy foam brushes because this should get this some texture. And if I don't like this or it's too light, I will just simply go over it with like a darker color or something. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Okay, try to see if I want to go over the flower. And okay, let's see. Let's go over the edge a little bit. I think I'll stop there with that. And then Pencil over the bowl. A little more white paint. I really like that white against the blue. That's really pretty.
I was going to do a design on the bull, but I wasn't going to do a flower. I was going to do a different design, but I'm thinking that I can go in and color the design on the bowl and leave the rest of this, you know, black and white. Let's see. I got this weird little alley going on here. But it'll be okay. Okay. So that needs to dry now. Really liking the blue and the white. Oh, that's really cool. I think the bull's going to end up looking cool if I like come in here. I'm thinking like paint around or paint over or do something. Um, fun with the, with color over here and then kind of highlight something over here with the paint pen or something that's what I'm thinking so I can I'm actually gonna rinse this stencil off it's a paper stencil but I'm gonna kind of lightly uh, clean it with a paper towel so you can reuse them more than one time and this is just a paper stencil I got at Michael's so I will be right back okay so I want to add some color on top of I'm thinking on top of the white because I don't think unless I use some paint and kind of a little brush I'm not going to get into all these little things but I'm thinking to add some marker on top of the white here so I don't know if this is going to work or not I haven't tried it so we're just going to kind of go with it and see what happens and I'm just using some recollections um, brush markers so let's see that looking like well it's coloring it and this flower is just like that one so I'm going to do these two the same If there was a better way I could have done this but this is the way we're doing it now okay, I'm just gonna kind of go with a little bit darker color in the center I'm just kind of putting some quick color on here A little white paint pen to kind of help that out. All right, so we've got a couple of two, three flowers here that are the same. And we want an orange and yellow one. I'm just going to color what's on the bowl. Next time I do this, I need to plan a little bit better, but it is what it is.
think I have, a, I have a dark orange color. kind of blending these two together a little bit going back over with a lighter color. Since there was such a stark difference between the two colors. for the center there. Oh, let's try red. Why not? Maybe we'll do a pink and red little flowers here. Oh, I just noticed that I didn't, didn't do these. That's looking interesting. <laughs> okay, so I did the light pink and the red. I'm just gonna kind of put a little of the hot pink over that. It's a different, it's a different color here. That's better. Maybe these little flowers. Okay, let's do some green on the leaves. Let's see what, so I have these three color greens. So I think this is gonna be the lightest one. I missed one down here.
I feel about this? <laughs> I think it's kind of interesting. I uh, kind of lost the bowl a bit, but um, I think it's interesting. We need to, maybe we need to trace around him with some black. And we've got a Sharpie. We've got a little baby Sharpie. I've got, I'm going to use a dark blue. Black might be better though. Okay, we've got white paint pen. That's probably going to come in handy. Oh, I'm thinking, you know what? Let me color this little flower right there. Just for fun, maybe? I don't know. I don't need to do that. Hmm. Hmm. I'm feeling the need to color this one little flower. We're just going to go with it. Oh, I guess I've got some flower flower e issue over here too. go over this bowl with the light black first and see if I need to do the heavy I'm not sure where his eye is. I think his eye is under that flower. Okay. So I think this flower needs some black too. Should have gone over this flower with the other. Well, for some reason, I didn't feel the need.
And now I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just doodling. I'm liking this. I'm not sure about this. It's an interesting concept. Maybe I should have done this over the flower. Which I guess it's not too late, but it is kind of too late. Alright, this paint pen's not liking this. Oh, I see it works okay over here. Okay, well this isn't quite gelling. I'm sure there's a reason for it, but I don't know what it is. Okay, so I'm really liking the bowl. I'm really not liking this flower thing over here. So I wonder if I put the stencil back down and stencil over and do this like that, if that would kind of balance it. What do y'all think? Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try that. Hang on. Okay, I just lined that up on top of what it was before. And we're just going to add some paint. Okay, we're gonna try that. I'll let that dry and see what that looks like. 
Okay, the reason this looks so good is because that bowl was black <laughs> or dark, so that really pops here. I'm not sure how this side's going to look, but you know what? We're just going to kind of go with it and see what we get. I'm kind of going to do the colors from that side. And it's really kind of hard to tell over here. Still a bit wet. Alright, so we're going to color that in there. There. Get some light color on these leaves so I can see them. That's about it. That's that flower. I'm not sure what that is. I'm not sure what that is. That's going to be it. Okay, I'm gonna say this flower is an epic fail and this bowl looks good. So, not sure what else to do with this. <laughs> so maybe just kind of cut that out, cover it up. I don't know, this, this isn't working for me over here. I guess I need to put something else dark there and then, um, ooh, that's what I could do. But I don't know if I'm gonna do it today. Okay, so in theory, I could cut out something dark in this shape, put it there, and then color over it. Like, do redo that whole process again if I wanted to. I, I, I don't know. I think I'm going to think I'm gonna let this one go for now and kind of see what next week brings. <laughs> or maybe, uh, maybe a, another day. I did have a couple of words here that I didn't end up using. Some numbers like one, two, three, the beef. So, anyway, this is what today's collage turned out like. Um, if I get a wild hair and decide to fix this, <laughs> yeah, I will let you guys know. Yeah, this flower's not, just, just not working. Just not working. But, I like this concept. It was something new to try and to play with. Um, I don't know if this was better before I put the thing on. Maybe I need to paint it blue and just stencil over it. I don't know. It needs something. 
I need something. So anyway, I like this half the page, this half the page. I do not like. <laughs> but this is where we ended up for today. So if you like this kind of thing, give it a thumbs up. It's always an experiment. <laughs> Never know what you're going to get. Because <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I, don't, I mean, I don't really have a plan when I sit down. I just like turn the camera on and go, oh, I think that might work. So get your art journal out and do some journaling, even if it turns out badly. <laughs> At least you are being creative and having some fun. So anyway, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of this kind of thing, hit that bell button over there so YouTube will let you know when I post new videos. And as always, I really, really, really appreciate you spending this time with me. Thanks for watching.